Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So in today's video we are going to be covering the Google Webmaster Tools. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. And just to clarify, the Google Webmaster Tools is now known as the Google Search Console. Now it is a free web service provided by Google and it allows website owners and webmasters to monitor and manage their website's presence in Google's search results. Now it provides valuable insights and data about a website's performance, indexing status as well, search visibility and plenty more. Now to get started what you guys need to do is you need to visit this URL so the search.google.com or https colon forward slash forward slash search.google.com So now that you've directed yourselves to the Google Search Console what you want to go ahead and do is select the start now. Now this all depends of course on your profile so just make sure that you have the correct email uh, that is linked onto the website uh, especially if you have Google Analytics as well. So we're going to go through the first method of selecting for the URL prefix. So this is mainly just the website verification so webmasters or website owners can verify ownership of their website by adding a specific code or meta tag to their website's HTML or you can connect it which we're going to be doing uh, through their website through other methods which is offered by Google. Now verification is necessary to access the full set of features in the search console. So you have two options there which is the domain so that's a brand new one but we're just going to go with the URL prefix. So we've got an account here for Amazing Cars and Drives. So you want to go ahead and select that. Uh, of course, enter your URL here. So don't do Amazing Cars and Drives. Obviously, that is our own um, internal brand. But once you've selected the URL that you want or copied and pasted it over, go ahead and select Continue. So it'll do the verification there and as you can see ownership auto verified. So verification method Google Analytics and it is now uh, all good to go. So all you need to do is click done or go to the property. And as you can see you're able to access a load of areas like performance reports. So Search Console provides data on how a website is performing in Google search results. That includes information on clicks, impressions, uh, the click-through rate and average position of the website's pages. And of course this data helps webmasters understand their website's visibility and user engagement. So like so, you've got your pages there, uh, you've got your search results, um, you've got your page experience, core web vitals as well. Uh, you can access a full report on the performance, check the total clicks, um, the total impressions as well. As I've mentioned, the average CTR and the position as well. You can see the graph along from the 18th of the 2nd of 2023 all the way to the present day. So below is mainly some of the queries of course or the top keywords and these are mainly it. And then these are some of the pages that are linked to that as well. And these are the countries that have had the most clicks. You, you can see United Kingdom, we've got the states and pretty much links on from there. Uh, you've got your devices as well so you can check how many clicks uh, have been accessed through desktop, mobile or a tablet. You've got search appearance there for the videos and the dates. Okay so just talking through as well you've got index coverage so this feature shows the indexing status of individual pages on a website. So you'll just find that located around here. So you've got the pages, you've got video pages, you've got site maps, which we'll look at later on, and the removals. Now, it identifies any issues that may prevent Google from crawling and indexing the pages properly. 
So webmasters can also submit new pages for indexing and request removal of specific URLs. So you can go ahead and check them out. You can see which ones indexed and what are in, uh, is indexed. Um, and then you can check the reasons as well. So page with redirect, not found 404. Uh, crawled, currently not indexed. There are duplicates, so there's one there. Uh, so as you can see, majority of the pages have page with redirect and crawled, but currently not indexed. And you can see some of the affected pages and pretty much just go through them and fix them up. And then you can validate the fix and you then see that number dropping down. For the ones that are indexed, you just simply click the view data and it shows you all the 76 affected pages that are indexed. So these are all good to go. They're all fine. So moving on, you've got the sitemaps. So sitemap submission. So webmasters can submit a XML sitemap to help Google discover and crawl their website's pages more efficiently. Uh, sitemaps provide more information about the structure and organization of a website, helping search engines understand its content better. So if you just click on that, you take a look at the sitemaps uh, by entering a sitemap URL. That's pretty much how that works. So just place in your URL there and it'll say that it'll periodically process it and look for changes. You'll be notified if anything goes wrong with it in the future. So that's pretty much how that, how that works. Just provides a sitemap of that. Uh, you can not just remove it if need, need be. Uh, I did make a little error there as I place the indexing wrong. So uh, you can't see the, you could just open up the sitemap and just take a look at it. So that's pretty much what that is. It's just the individual page. Uh, you can see a video page indexing. So it's asking us to use a supported sitemap format instead so we could see the whole thing. So that's, that's just how that works. But now what we're going to take a look at is the mobile usability. So you'll see that located on the experience. And this is mainly meaning, meaning or providing insights into a website's mobile usability, highlights any issues that you may that well that may affect the performance on mobile devices. And this feature is an essential uh, part as it will add to the mobile friendliness which will be key for ranking on a Google's search algorithm. So that's just located there, just on the experience part. So just go ahead and click on that. You could see which are the usable parts. So it's all usable. So that's uh, all good on our side. Uh, you can see all the pages that are usable. And just to check them as well, there's actually this little, uh, tool that Google provides and you can actually test out the uh, web page to see if it's mobile friendly. So this is a another one that you, you guys could use and it'll be handy to use as well. And it is the search.google.com forward slash test forward slash mobile friendly. So handy little tool to have, especially if you're checking the mobile usability. And as I was saying before, just to demonstrate, so if we take one, for example, from the amazing cars and drives, so we'll go to the, say, the A-Class AMG. I think this should be it. And then we'll go to the mobile friendly test. We'll enter the URL. And once you click the URL or test URL, it'll just give you a lo loading progress bar. Takes about a minute or two as it states. So then it'll give you a verification that the page is usable on mobile and that it has crawled successfully. So just to test the, the page, 
you can view the code on the back as well HTML you could take a look at the screenshot of it as you can see there is a hamburger menu there and everything looks to be okay on the mobile version you can select for more information as well so it is a HTTP and uh, the pages resources as well um, so that is pretty much the mobile usability now if you were looking into the security issues Google search console alerts webmasters about any security issues detected on their website now this could be like malware infections or hacked content and it helps webmasters identify and resolve these issues just to maintain a safe and trustworthy website. So I know you've got SSL as well but you do have the security and manual actions just located there and you've got the security issues and currently it's saying that there's no issues detected anyway and you could do some manual actions as well. Uh, which has no issues. So everything's all good with the website. Now another handy tool on the Google Search Console is the URL inspection. Now this tool allows webmasters to analyze how Google views a specific URL on their website and it provides information on indexing status, crawl errors and HTML improvements for the given URL. So you could just select that and then apply a, a URL on there. Just search it up. So reviewing are retrieving data from Google Index it takes a bit a minute and as you can see everything's indexed it's usable on mobile and it crawled to the page so everything's all good uh, you can test that live URL as well just by selecting that and it'll bring you to the page so it's brought us to this page as you can see everything is all functional so going back to the welcome area of the Google search console there's another method that you can use in order to actually gain some verification on a site. So of course, currently at the meantime, we do have all the other properties here and they're all uh, readily available and it doesn't require any other ver verification since we've already went through that process. But say you were looking to do another one. So just apply the URL prefix here, hit continue. and the other method would uh, would be to do it through a HTML. So then you would download the file and then upload that to the uh, domain. But to actually use that method will require the cPanel. And then from there, all you would need to do is just drag and drop the actual file into the HTML area and that's pretty much it. Another method as well is actually on the uh, Google part. So as you can see, this is the cPanel uh, verify your domain. Basically goes through the steps of how to add your verification code. So you have find your DNS records, uh, add your verification code, and then tell Google to verify your code. Once that's done, you pretty much have the console ready to go. So there's the domain name provider, so you could allocate that using the DNS record with Google so uh, record type TXT so that's a couple of different ways to do so there are different options there like Google Analytics you've got Google Tag Manager HTML tag the HTML file or as we've uh, just discussed there which is the domain name provider but guys that pretty much reaches the end of the video as you can see the Google search console is a valuable tool for website owners and webmasters to optimize their website's performance in Google search. Now, as mentioned, it does help in diagno uh, diagnosing and resolving technical issues, improving the search visibility, and enhancing the overall user experience. If you guys found this video helpful, please do let us know in the comment section below. Or if you guys want any information about web development or web design, why not get in touch with our team? And I'm sure someone will help you out in our department. So as I've said, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much for watching.